guys, it's Angie here, and I'm coming on to do this quick little fun experiment share. So, I kind of turn into a MacGyver. <laughs> I say that now and then when I'm trying to think about something I need um, for a journal. So, I was working on these journals, and I was trying to, this is the signature covers, and so this kind of split apart, right? So I'm like, hmm, what can I do? I can't really sew it, can't staple it, whatnot. But I wanted some kind of element to maybe tabs. And I was like, well, I tried fabric. I tried paper. I just didn't really like the look. And then I had made this faux rusty little medallion kind of looking thing here. And I thought, well, I need some rusty tape. Well, I've been, I've been wanting to do some kind of different kind of tape. And a long time ago, I'd made this, this one here. It's out of plaster. And I thought this would be really cool to make like texture tape. So I thought about taking plaster and then doing some texture on top of it after it dried. Let's see if you can get this close up. No, I won't do it. Anyways, so um, I thought, well, I so I dug this out and I put the rest over on top of it. And it actually turned out really cool. And then I was thinking, well, I wonder how it would work on regular tape. And it just blew up from there because <laughs> I've been wanting to do rusty tape for a long time. Um, so this is just something I came up with and you can kind of see here, it kind of says what I did and then, um, kind of my process, my process is, is always evolving you guys. So like when you ask me, oh, how did you do that? Sometimes I'll show a journal and everything is always, um, what I'm working on. Like if I'm doing a series on ancient runes, you know, I'll go on what I'm inspired by, by the ancient runes. And sometimes it's always going to change. So when I work on a piece, it's kind of like I'm working on an art piece. I never know where it's headed or where it's going to go. So it's kind of why I haven't really done like step-by-step -step journal making, um, online, <laughs> you know, my YouTube channel. I, I kind of do shares, which is, I think is cool too, because I kind of talk about some things and some of my processes. Um, but other than that, you know, I'm just, my style is always evolving or what I'm working on is always evolving. So that's kind of how it works with me. So I took clear tape, um, black tape, yellow masking tape. Um, I work a lot, um, with the silver tape, that's really cool. Um, so I tried it on the sticky side and also the reverse side and then added clear gesso to that. Uh, and then I added some texture on there as well just to give it some more layers, obviously, because that's what I was going for is really rusty layers and textures. Um, I did have to seal it. Some these, like these ones, these flatter pieces that do have some texture, they had to be sealed, obviously, but these ones had a little bit more sealant that I had to do to them because there's some texture on there. So I just either, I sprayed it first and then I, um, dabbed some clear gesso on there. Sometimes you'll get a little white cast, sometimes you won't, but I think that kind of adds to the effect. Um, you know, rust kind of evolves on its own in different ways out in the elements. So with temperature. But anyway, so if you stay tuned, um, like I said, I, I don't really do like tutorials, but I, I have started trying to do this step-by-step -step voiceover. Um, just, I, I'm, <laughs> when I'm recording like these step-overs, these voiceovers that you're going to see at the end, they're basically, I am just working off the cuff, you guys. If it worked, it worked. Obviously you've seen this video. It I came up with something cool. If it didn't, obviously that would have been scrapped. But anyways, I think it turned out really cool. Um, I like every every one that I came up with. I love these blue tones. You'll see them in later pictures. It doesn't, it's kind of, I have this bright right now. But this has really cool blues in it. Kind of like um, Payne's Gray kind of a look. And I used two different resting liquids. Um, this one came up more. This is with the vinegar and mixture. And then like this was with the effects. So... Anyways, uh, so stay tuned and we'll go into the voiceover and I'll try to do my best <laughs> to help you try to recreate these. And you can't be scared of rest, you guys, you know, like 
Um, I'm very careful, especially like with real rusting powder and whatnot. You, you do want to have some ventilation in your room. You don't want that fluff, you know, up in the air. You'll get those, um, you don't want to breathe those in. So if you do try this, this is real rust. That's how I, I do love doing the faux kind of look as well, but I also love working with real rust as well. I just take, um, precautions like, you know, with anything you do in mixed media, just take the precautions you have to take and be safe and create awesome stuff. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the step out and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. Here's the tape I used from mesh, clear, black, and yellow masking tape. Here I have the tape facing sticky side up. You'll have to tape the edges so they'll stay nice and flat. Here the tape is down on the silicone mat. You'll want to do that to keep everything nice and flat. Here's the resting powder. You'll want to flood it until everything is covered and then you'll brush off later, but make sure everything's covered with the powder. Next, I use clear gesso, and this is the tape facing down, stuck onto the silicone mat. I'll brush that on, and then I'll add my rusting powder. Here are the solutions that I use. Rusting activator by Metal Effects and Vinegar. I will then apply that, as you see here. I already used the Metal Effects. So I have Metal Effects on the left and Vinegar on the right. The vinegar wasn't acting fast enough, so I experimented and threw some iodized salt and hydrogen peroxide on the tape, and it started to bubble and fizz, and it worked, and I love the process of the rust effects and vinegar. Here, I'm showing you how I applied the solution and the effect that it was giving. Here, I'm just recording a quick overview. That is the effects that you see there while everything's drying on top here. I did use two different types of rusting powder. One had a little bit more grit to it, but they're all just rusting powder. And as you'll see here, everything's drying or waiting to dry. The effect is amazing. I love the close-ups and all the colors that I did get. Here I added a splash of coffee just for a deeper effect. I have a bunch of pop tins lying around cut out because I use those a lot. I decided to try that as well. With the rusting effect, I did just use the vinegar solution and it turned out awesome. And here's the end results that I got from my experimentation. I love the texture, especially from the salt. You will have to seal these like I said, but they turned out amazing and the effects gave it so much cool colors. I hope you enjoy this and you'll try this and tag me if you do. Bye-bye.